Kelly Green is coming back, baby. Yo everybody do King Ding back here So I am super super excited Super excited Wait we run time I am that excited to talk to you guys about this topic Because I've been doing a video pretty much twice a year on this topic And yesterday Jeffrey Lurie made my dreams a reality Well kind of but I'll take it As you probably know the Philadelphia Eagles will be going back to Kelly Green. Thank you. Ke yes, Kelly Green. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Thank God that the Eagles are going to do this. Now, this isn't going to be a permanent jersey. This is going to be an alternate jersey. So they're going to wear it probably twice a year. I think they should wear it every divisional game. Somebody said that on the radio today. I thought that was a great idea. But the Eagles are probably going to wear it twice a year, and I'll take it. I will take it because I've been I've been dying for Kelly Green. Now I grew up in that era where you know you had the Reggie White era, you know Clyde Simmons, Seth Joyner, Randall Cunningham. You had that whole crew, and it was Kelly Green, and I loved it. I love Kelly Green, uh, and I'm just excited to get it back, even if it's for two games a year. And I can tell you this: once the Eagles go back to Kelly Green, uh, you know, even as an alternate, everything I get will be Kelly Green. I, all my jerseys, all my hat, everything I'm going to get is going to be Kelly Green. If I'm paying for it, I'm going to get it in Kelly Green. I am so excited. I am so excited to get Kelly Green. Um, I just am. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to, to put it on. I cannot wait to see it out there, you know? Now, the Eagles wanted to do this a few years ago, but the holdup was that basically you're not allowed to have... Um, two different helmets in the NFL. I, I don't know why this is, and apparently some teams can and do, like the Rams, I think they have two helmets, but for some reason, the Eagles couldn't do it. So we had to wait until basically we could get an approval by the commissioner to have a Kelly Green helmet to match the Kelly Green jersey. So the Eagles have been waiting, and now it sounds like from Jeffrey Lurie and what he was saying, 2020 is when it's gonna happen. There's a chance it could happen in 2019. I would love it, I would love I mean, I am gonna flip out. Because in 2010, when they brought that back and Michael Vick was wearing it, that's when uh, Kevin Cobb got hurt. That that was like, oh, when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I miss this so much. And, and it was nice. Now, I, look, I like Midnight Green. I know they want a Super Bowl in it, but they only want a Super Bowl in, in Midnight Green because they got rid of the Kelly Green. If they had kept the Kelly Green, they would have won a Super Bowl. You know, so, I, you know, I like the Kelly Green. I want the Kelly Green all the time. Now, you know, the one bad thing about it is that you're going to lose the black alternate jerseys most likely. And I really like those. I want those to stay. I wish the Eagles would just go back and find a way where they could, like, redo, re-update the whole thing, the, all of the jerseys, and get Kelly Green mixed with Midnight Green and get it in there somehow so it just looks awesome and blended, you know. And then you can keep the black alternative. That would be my dream. But... I'll take what I can get. The Eagles are going to bring in a Kelly Green alternate jersey soon. I cannot wait. This is what I've been waiting for. And yes, I cannot wait to put on a Carson Wentz jersey in Kelly Green. There's just something magical about the Kelly Green. I love it. I love it. So I'm excited. Are you excited about it? Let me know what you think. Oh, my eyes. So the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is the draft. Now, we all know that every draft is important. It is. But Howie Roseman was at the owner's meeting yesterday, and he was talking about this upcoming draft. And he was talking about how important this draft is to really replenish some of the youth on this roster. We got some guys with two years left, three years left maybe, some with one. And it's important to replenish those guys, to have somebody that can step in when those guys leave because it's going to happen. And the best way to do it is in the draft. And you have to hit on these picks. You have to. Man, my eyes itch. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at my eyes. They're like bloodshot. Can you see that? Holy crap. Oh, man, they itch. You know, I, I'm not sick. I don't have a cold, I don't have allergies, nothing like that. I can tell you exactly what's going on. My eyes are watering, they're itchy, they're bloodshot, the back of my throat itches, and it's been like this for like almost 24 hours, and I can tell you what it is. It's chemtrails. 
chemtrails. Now you're saying, what's chemtrails? Chemtrails are basically when they spray stuff in the atmosphere. Now this is true. That this goes on. It's called something else, but they do this, okay? And basically, yesterday, me and my wife were going to get some dinner, and we're walking out, and I'm looking at the storm clouds as we get ready to storm the rain. And I'm as, as I'm looking at these dark clouds, you see this like lighter looking clouds start to come through. Starts to come through the big thick storm clouds. I'm like, what is that? So I start looking over and I look to a place where there's no clouds and it's just like open space. And you see planes flying across, spraying, spraying. They were spraying a ton above the storm clouds like so nobody would see it you know what i mean and these this, this chemtrail stuff was actually going through the clouds and it looked so weird going through it's the weirdest thing but you know what like 20 minutes after they did that my eyes started itching the back of my throat started itching and it's been like that ever since and and not only that we were driving home I'm like look at that person and they're like this I'm like look at that person they're like this. everybody was scratching their eyes rubbing their eyes Throw it itchy. It's because of the chemtrails. No, I'm, I'm serious. You, I actually, you know what? I actually have video of this. I actually filmed it yesterday. I actually have. I forgot I have it. I will put it in. I will put it on at the end of this video so you can see for yourself. It was crazy, and it's been bothering me ever since. So I apologize for my bloodshot eyes and stuff. But man, they itch and they're dry, and it, it's been like that, man. I gotta find where my eye drops are. But anyways, chemtrails. They're real. So, all right, let's get back into the Eagles now. I, sorry, my eyes are itchy. But, um, so the Eagles, this, this draft is going to be important to get some youth on this roster so we can start, we can start, you know, having guys that can take over for some of these older guys because those older guys, they're going to not be here much longer. We need guys to do it. Um, when I look at the Eagles, I, I look at these first three picks, okay? And, and I think these first three picks are some of the most important picks we've had in years. Uh, I think we got to get it right. I think we got to get it right. And when I look at what the Eagles do, like the history of what they like to do, especially in the first round, um, you know, I, I'm telling you, I, I think it's less and less likely that they're going to take a running back in round one. Um they haven't drafted a running back. I think it was 1986 was the last time they took a running back in the first round. Um, and you know what? Um, that's a long time. And then I was listening to how he speak. And he was talking about how when they won the Super Bowl, all the running backs on their roster were, were not on their roster until after the draft. Now, Blunt is a decent back. The trade for Jay Ajayi, a healthy Jay Ajayi, was a really good upgrade. And Clement played really good his rookie year. Um, so I think the Eagles will draft a running back with one of the first three picks, but I don't think it's going to be the first round pick. I think where the Eagles are going to go um, in the first round, I think they're going offensive line. I think that that is the most likely scenario. Um, how he talked about how they, they like to, to take care of their offensive and defensive lines. Well, they've already done a lot of stuff on the defensive side of the ball, um, especially that line, but they really haven't done anything on the offensive side of the ball. Um, they let Wisniewski go. They did sign Peters to a year. Um, oh my eyes. But they, let, they they really haven't done anything. And, and I think that this would be a perfect time for them to take an offensive lineman. Maybe you want a guy who can play the guard position and the tackle position for the future. Although I think Jordan Malata is their plan for tackle. I think this guy showed tremendous amount of talent and I'm curious to see what kind of step he, he makes next year because I think he's going to be a player. But they still need an offensive lineman. And I think I'm willing to say I'll give it an 85% chance the Eagles are going to go offensive line in the first round. I think that's going to shock a lot of people. I think Jacobs will still be on the board and the Eagles are going to go offensive line. That's just my theory. Um, it makes sense because they've already addressed the defensive line. They may draw, they, they're they going to address the, that offensive line. Get a first round talent who could come in and start right away. You have Peters who's older. You have Brooks who's coming back from a uh, injury. He may not be ready till November and you still need a left guard. I'm not happy with the left guard that they have. So I think offensive line in the first round is, is the key. Now, 
one guy that you can, you know, one defensive lineman that you can watch in the first round, and maybe the Eagles take him, uh, they've met with him, and that's Montez Sweat. Now, he has, uh, something came out last week that he has some sort of heart condition or minor, and this may cause him to drop in the draft. If that does, I think the Eagles have to jump on him because he's so talented. But... If, if he doesn't, I think the Eagles are going to go offensive line. Now, in the second round, they have two picks, so they could do a lot of things here. But if they stay where they're at, I think the first, second round pick, you're probably going to see a defensive end, okay? Then with the second, second round pick, I think you're going to see a running back. I think that the Eagles are going to go offense early and often in this draft. I think the first... Two of three picks will be offense, probably also the first fourth round pick that they have. But I think the Eagles are going to go heavy offense. I do think they'll take a defensive end at some point with the, you know one of the first three picks, most likely the second pick. And then the third pick, I think they take a running back. Now, there are three running backs that I really like. And I think one, I think any of these three, I think one of these three, I should say, will be an Eagle after uh, the second day of the draft. And I think it's either Daryl Henderson, Miles Sanders, or David Montgomery. I think one of those three guys ends up with the Eagles. I think that's who they're going to target, and we'll see. Now, there's a lot of, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors that the Eagles love Jacobs, and they might, but I don't think they're going to take him in the first round. Maybe if he falls in the second, maybe if he's there real late, in the first, they come back up because they have the ammo to do it. But I, I think the Eagles are going to go offensive line in the first round because they got to beef up that line. I mean, it just makes too much sense. You need, you need help on the offensive line. And if you look at the two areas where the Eagles haven't addressed this whole team, it's pretty much offensive line and running back. So I think that you're going to see first pick in the draft that the Eagles have offensive linemen. I think that makes sense for multiple, you know, multiple reasons. You got guys with injury, you got older guys, and you got to protect Carson Wentz, who you're trying to get ready to give a huge contract extension. So offensive linemen in the first, I, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty comfortable saying I think that's what it's going to be. Then I'll, I think you'll get a running back in the second, whether it's the first, second, or second, second. I don't know. I'm going to say second, second. I think it's going to be Daryl Henderson, David Montgomery, or Miles Sanders. So so we'll see. So I, I think that the first three picks, the Eagles have to hit. The, all these guys have to come in and be effective. That's how you really replace, you know, older uh, talent that, that is, is not going to be there much longer. You have to have guys that you can draft and step in. Now, the two positions that a lot of fans talk about, you know, getting and what we need, the Eagles never draft in the first round. They don't draft running backs, and they don't draft linebackers. I don't think the Eagles put enough stock in linebacker to take one in the first. Even if a guy like Bush was to drop, I don't think the Eagles would take him. I really don't. I think the Eagles don't value linebacker that way. So I think you'll see a linebacker probably you know, somewhere between the fourth and seventh round. That's what I think. Um, I think it's going to be offense heavy early. And I think the first two of three picks will be offense. I think the first pick is offensive lineman. The second pick is a defensive end. And the third pick is a running back. That is what I'm going with. Tell me what you think. Um, we got to hit on this draft, man. We got to hit and get this draft right. It's a big, big draft for us. And I will be streaming it, by the way. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Take care. Talk to you later. So say to me, chemtrails are not real. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, if you look over here, you see weird clouds, right? The chemtrails are falling through the clouds. They're actually falling through the clouds. And you can see it up there. Because they're spraying above the clouds because it's about to rain. And it's actually falling through the clouds. And it's over here too, if you can see. The chemtrails are falling through the cloud, man. Look at that. Chemtrails are real. Falling through the cloud. Look how it's spreading. It's just spreading out. Look how it's spreading. It's just, it's not dissipating, it's spreading. That is definitely something. And then look at that stuff fall, man. It's falling right off the sky. This place is insane. With that said, don't be a dingbat.